Welcome guys back to another video on the channel. Today we're back with some more Animal Vol Workshop review. And today guys, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, um, we're going to be doing a review of the Bone Leviathan. Um, as you can see here, he is right here. He actually has a pretty good model actually. Uh, that's not really a model, but it has pretty good like uh, detailing and everything of of how the creator uh, did it. As you can see, like all the spikes on the head for like the skull, kind of like on the head and then you have the rib cage and everything really good design with all the bones and everything the spikes but uh either way before we go ahead and get to test this unit i'm going to go ahead and put the creator on screen now okay guys that was the creator obviously and uh yeah so go and show him support because this is actually a pretty good uh unit of what i've done with my little bit of testing off camera just so you know we're not sitting here trying to determine how to balance units to this thing but either way i've already figured out how to balance units it's about if you give every unit a three times health multiplier and a two times attack because if i go ahead and hit j you can see he has three times health two times attack right and then if you act like he costs about 300 to 350 dollars mainly a 300 dollar area like a below above 300 that kind of area just around there that's about the area i would say he costs even though he technically costs 2800 dollars which is not very accurate um uh, but uh yeah either way um i guess we can get in some quick tests so first test we'll go ahead and test make us a big unit so if he costs around um 300 this area like i've done on some of my testing i guess we'll do the goro because there isn't really any unit that's around 300 dollars they they're all either like 250 like this guy or they're like 400 i don't think there's really an in actually no the hydra's 200 yeah there isn't really anything i think the goro is probably the closest so uh yeah just gonna do it, place him down let's see how close of a fight this is so so far now another thing about the this uh bone leviathan is the amount of spikes he has makes it to where as you can see like he really doesn't I mean he is biting him right now but he doesn't really need to use his mouth to attack because touching any part of his body right like these spikes right here will do damage these spikes right here will do, like every part of him pretty much will do damage just by touching him so like you don't really even need to like avoid the front of it you just there's no way to really avoid getting attacked by it which is a pretty big advantage of this unit though right now it seems to actually be like kind of just bring the goro in circles yeah let me see if i can there we go okay we got the goro standing up oh there he goes okay now we're getting a real fight um both on about half health so a pretty even fight actually at 250 dollars of the goro um oh well, gore's getting another attack in right there though not doing too well for the gore right now because the bone leviathan has gotten above him which is an area he can't really attack much yeah he's got he's got uh the gore bitten by the head so i don't think this fight's gonna last too much longer um man yeah, gore's about to die but then again the bone leviathan is on pretty low health as well Though, it looks like it's about to go down right here. And... There we go. So, yeah, that was actually a pretty interesting fight. Now, the first bit of it, you know, obviously the Bone Leviathan was kind of just dragging him across the ground. But after I helped the Goro out a little bit, that was actually a pretty fair fight. Um... Actually, did test the uh, Dragon versus this guy uh, before recording. Because, you know, I would say it's one of the, you know, just balance testing it. Trying to figure out what it's balanced with. So, it's not just me sitting here trying to figure out how to balance it with stuff. That way, you guys can just watch the combat. And, uh, yeah. So, against the dragon, it did beat it. But then again, it was actually a decently fair fight. So, I figure I'll show it again. Now, obviously, technically, these guys are both flying units. Even though the Leviathan is meant to be an aquatic unit. Um, but, I mean, yeah. As you can see, this is a pretty fair fight between the two of these guys. Um, dragon, obviously, gets most of his damage in during his uh breath attack as you can see right there he does pretty decent chunk of damage though i think dragon's gonna lose this one yeah and there you go and there goes dragon falling okay so yeah dragon it's a decently fair fight um so yeah that's two that's two like big units let's go ahead and do some more 
like swarm unit so if he costs roughly three hundred dollars and three hundred dollars of these guys and that's oh actually these guys can equal 300 exactly nice okay let's go ahead and see how this fight goes now i don't know exactly how this will go because leviathan does have a lot of spikes so he probably will kill a lot of them via his spikes but then again i honestly don't know it doesn't look like anything so far not really Actually, you can see it. If I go and slow it down, you see all the piranha, their health is, like, damaged, like, no matter where they are on them. Because of the fact that he has, uh, spikes, he's able to do damage to them, no matter where they are on his body, pretty much, so. I would say a very big bonus of him is that there's not really anywhere you can get to attack him without being hit by him. Because, yeah, look at that. He didn't even really attack those guys. They just swam into his spikes. They tried to attack his spikes and then it killed them. So, yeah. But, yeah, what do we got? Last three, it looks like. The last one, I think. Yeah, last one right there. No, last two. I think. I don't know. I can't really tell. It's kind of hard to tell. Nope, there you go. And that's that. So, I mean, yeah, he's pretty good against group units, what it looks like as well. Um... Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and actually do a test like this. Let's get the two other uh, two other like main aquatic bosses, uh, Mosasaurus and Colossal Squid, and they cost three hundred twenty dollars combined. So let's see how they do against this guy. Just the two of them against him. I'm gonna imagine really badly because the squid is gonna take a lot of damage because every single one of his tentacles are gonna hit a spike. So he has so many places of contact that are going to hit spikes and all do damage to him. Uh, the Mosasaur, it'll probably do decent, but of what it looks like right here, the Mosasaur has gotten himself in a bad position, and he can't bite him. Actually, nope, look, Mosasaur got a bite on there, I think. But yeah, the Mosasaur is having a hard time getting a grip of him. Uh, the Squid is just killing itself via all the spikes with all his tentacles, which is not going very well. Um, I mean, it's not about half health. But, I mean, yeah, this Delphi isn't the two units you would want to p face against this guy. Especially not the squid. Because squid just kills itself on this guy with the amount of tentacles it has. Its tentacles just hit the spikes, and each tentacle pretty much causes more damage than it than it does. Because of the fact that it's all hitting the spikes, so. And there you go. So, about a little bit under half health, which I guess is fair. Because the squid is a really bad unit to go against this guy in the most source. It's kind of luck based with most source whether he's able to get a grip with his uh, mouth or not. So, uh, yeah. Either way, let's go ahead and. Uh, so, we did about a. Let's go ahead and actually test him against. Where are the train? I want to do a bit of a different type of swarming unit. Because stuff like the piranha and everything. Right? They just. They stay in the battle constantly. Right, they don't move away from the battlefield while these guys kind of like come in and fly out. You know, like these guys don't stay in a single location, as you see. Look, they fly out and they fly in, they attack and then they fly out. It's kind of like a dive bombing kind of maneuver, I guess is what you could say, right? Like, see, they fly in, they do their damage, they fly out, and they repeat until they kill their target or they die themselves, of what it looks like here. So yeah, I would of what we're seeing here once again, I would say this unit is probably excels against swarms of units. Um oh and there's just one left. And there you go. So yeah, I would say this guy definitely excels against groups of units, that's for sure. Um now let's do a bit more of a test, because he excels against groups of units. And so he excels against groups of units and he Um and he's pretty good against single target. So let's do two uh, Spinosaurus. So two big units. See how this goes. Um, I have a feeling he's going to lose this one. More than likely. Um, though maybe not. Nope. Yeah, look at the amount of damage he's taking. I figured he would lose this one. Because it's, you know. Spinosaurus is actually a pretty big one. Let's see. How much health do they have? 8,400 each. He at max health only has 10,000. So, yeah. It's going to go pretty bad for him. Unless he can get his spikes to really start doing some work. That's his best chance is if, like this right here. If he can move his tail slightly more to the right, his all those spikes will go straight in that, that spino and that would probably do major damage. 
Um, though actually, even though the beginning of the fight started with him taking a lot of damage, as you guys can see, as the fight goes on, it looks like he's starting to turn it around somewhat. Probably because all his spikes are starting to actually, like, start doing a lot more damage. Because as you can see, this Spinosaur right here, uh, you got some spikes down here on the fins and some spikes on the underbelly, kind of, that are doing damage to this Spinosaur right here. And then, oh, Spinosaur's dead. Okay, one dead. And then, yeah, that Spinosaur was obviously getting the mouth. The mouth was uh, grabbed onto him, so he died pretty quickly. Those you can see here. Yeah, you can hear I don't know if you guys can hear it over my voice. I'll be quiet for a second. But you can hear that constant, like, what sounds like a bleeding, or I guess what you say, like a, almost like a stabbing sound, I guess. That sound is pretty much every single time a spike is stabbing into its target. So that really shows you how many spikes this thing has and how efficient they are at doing damage, because that, that was, like, constant of that noise. Um, and I actually want to do one or two more tests. So how about medium units equal price? Well, not equal price, but, like, what I think should be equal price. So, you know, let's see how this goes. So how much health? Each one of these guys has 3,700 health. So, I don't know. They should, they should do decent damage, which it looks like they are. But then again, you also see, once again, the usefulness of these spikes that this Bone Leviathan has. Look, this one's take Like, they're all taking damage. None of them are on full health. Even though it's only, what is it? This one right here. Even though only this one right here is the one being targeted and taking the most damage, all the ones surrounding the Leviathan are taking damage just because of all the spikes on its body. So yeah, definitely a big benefit, but other than that, it really doesn't seem to have any special attacks, which I don't even know if you really can give special attacks to the unit uh, creations. But uh, yeah, it seems to be doing pretty good damage against these guys, though it does have half health, so we'll see. How many are dead? It looks like we got maybe two dead. And then the rest of these guys are on half health along with him. So, I think he's going to win this. But, who knows? Anything can happen. Um, actually looks like he's having some trouble getting his mouth around to attack. Oh, nope. He's got one Karno in his mouth. Yep, that's going to be it for that Karno. It's going to be it for that Karno quickly. Yep, there you go. And now it's just the one Karno left versus him. And this won't last too long. Yep, he actually died of fall damage there. But, I mean, yeah, you can see how this guy is pretty powerful. Um, with all his spikes, he pretty much is... I'm pretty, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's very obvious that he's based off of Mosasaur. Um, like you can see, that's the inside of the Mosasaur's mouth. I didn't realize it could move with the camera. But, yeah, you can see there's the Mosasaur's right there. It is a Mosasaur's underneath, clearly. But with all these spikes and everything, it gets rid of the disadvantage that the Mosasaurus have, has of the Mosasaurus, right? He has his mouth. That's all he has to attack. He has no special, like, tail swing attack or anything. Th that's why he's such a bad unit is because he only has his mouth to attack. But this guy, he has his mouth to attack like the Mosasaurus because he is technically a Mosasaurus. But then he has all these spikes to protect him from the back, from the sides, from the underneath, from just any direction other than forwards. And if something's in front of him, he has his mouth to do the most damage. So, yeah. But either way, before we go and end the video, I do want to do one final test of it versus itself. Because uh, this is always a bit of a fun test, you know. Just to see how they react against each other. But, uh, yeah. Either way, as you guys fight, I'm going to go ahead and end off the video. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, obviously don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to go ahead and show uh, support to the creator of this unit on the workshop um go and see if there's any other of his creations that you enjoy um actually it's actually very odd how these guys are moving they're moving like straight up that's actually very odd how they're doing this fight right now they're just going straight up but uh yeah if you enjoyed the video obviously don't forget to leave like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time